Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Right, today we are going to the Audi stores in the US, um, imported into the UK Audis, uh, not the car brand, but yeah, you know what I mean. Um, and this is Folded Mountain, Mountains, shall I say. It's the Pale Ale, and it's actually brewed by, brewed and bottled by Custom Tap Brews, Rochester, New York, USA. Um, so I guess they have brewed it for Audi in the USA. So yeah, this showed up. Well, I noticed it last week. Um, I'm reviewing this on the 12th of July of 2018. Um, so it showed up. Done a bit of research about it, and then I went gone ahead and bought one. It was like one pound twenty nine or something. Something like that, really cheap. 355 mil then. So, so yeah, it's a pale ale, 5.3% ABV American pale ale, what it's saying. Not much else information wise. <clears throat> uh, the date on the neck of the bottle, best before April of 2019. Apparently, it's a twisty off bottle cap. So, it's got a, an interesting kind of looking bottle cap, a flying cow. Let's see if it does twist off then. It does. There you go. I've had this before and they don't. So yeah, it's looking kind of, yeah, like a filtered pale ale. Beer in the glass. A bit of smoke coming out there with the beer. It's looking very smooth. Yeah, filtered pale ale. So I don't know why I'm swirling the bottle for because it's there's nothing to swirl out. But I'll leave that little bit there so I can get my nose in. So it's a one finger of yeah, just off white touch tinged kind of lemony head. Yeah. It looks really good in the glass. Gentle carbonation running through the beer. It's kind of a a penny, copper penny colour, something like that. Amber. Light amber. It's getting an aroma then. Yeah, nice lemony notes going with that, that kind of tinged lemon head. Straight up the nose. I've got a big nose, so. Yeah, there's a slight. I'm getting almost like a, a, a tinge of kind of lemonade. It, it, it smells a little bit like a, a lager top. Maybe it's because it's up, actually, literally up my nose. So. Yeah, grassy, grainy, touch of citrus there. A little bit bready in the malt. Yeah, delicate, I mean, on the aroma, so it's difficult, but let's go for the taste, see what else we can get. Cheers. Pull the rest of this in. There we go. Give it another taste. There's a slight zest there. It's more lemon. Very light citrus notes. Nothing bold or anything like that. It's a little bit carbonated. I'm definitely picking that up on, on the on the stomach, and I feel like I'm going to need to burp already. Um, so yeah, it is quite carbonated for a pale ale, I think. This is more kind of a it's got that kind of pilsner type level of carbonation in it for me. I'm going to burp in a minute. It's definitely on the way. <coughs> Excuse me. Which, to be honest with you, I don't often get with a, of a parallel. There we go again. Leave an elation. 
but I'm trying to I'm trying to pick out other kind of flavours that I'm struggling. This is a good lawnmower beer if you like. There is a no pun intended, but it is a little bit grassy. A little bit. I don't know if it's metallic. That there is a little bit of a, a kind of a yeah metallic, coppery kind of taste to it. Tinny. I mean, it's it's refreshing. You're drinking it quick. You're doing some jobs around the house or whatever. You drink it quick, yeah. It's not leaving a particularly nice aftertaste for my palate, at least. Um, it's one pound twenty nine at the end of the day. For that price, it, you know, it's all right. It, it, you know, you could buy a few bottles of this if you're going to a barbie around a mates or whatever, all that sort of thing. Grab a, you know, a couple of, you know, handfuls of these. Chuck it in your basket. You got I don't know how many beers you want, six to eight beers or whatever. Um, yeah, be happy, you know. Um, it's not a beer to really kind of ponder over too much. Um, I mean, it's leaving a nice lacing, etc. But but yeah, for a beer that if you if you're you know doing this sort of thing, yeah, there's not for me a lot going on with it. I don't know what hops are in this. There's maybe a touch of citra. There is a slight kind of dryness to it. Maybe a little bit of maybe a little bit of grapefruit. But yeah, this this is a little bit too kind of light and a little bit too one dimensional. And that's metallic edge and it's just lingering on the palette. It's not for me. Um but yeah, go ahead and try it. You see see for yourself, see what you think. That's what I say. Um so in terms of a rating then, yeah, it's not the, it's okay, it's just okay. I'm giving this a 6 out of 10, uh, it's a 3 out of 5 bottle caps for the untapped scale. Over to untap then, it's got, um, and this has actually been around since the 20th of June of 2015, so I've not seen it over in the UK before. Um, 6,879 ratings. Or ratings check in, shall I say? I always say that 423 in the last 30 days. It's just had over 5,035 actual ratings coming in at 3.16. About right for me. Um, I'm you know, I'm giving this free. Um, it just says crisp, light American pale ale. Uh, there's better pale ales out there. If you, if I had a prime example, if you want an American pale ale, pay a little bit more, probably about 40, 50p more. Go and get a Sierra Nevada pale ale in the, you know, the green bottle. You know, just go out, grab one of them, grab one of them as well, compare them. You'll see what I mean. The difference is quite big, I'd say. Um, it's a quintessential American pale ale, Sierra Nevada pale ale. It's cracking. Um, they're they're about one pound eighty variant, but but yeah. Um, so yeah, let me know if you've had this one before. This is from the Custom Tap Brews. This is for brewed for Audi Stores US, and this is Folded Mountains American Pale Ale. Three point five percent. 5.3%, I always do that. Anyway, nothing special. Let us know what you think down below. Um, also, Joe, if you know anything more about the brewery, um, that'd be cool to know. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next review. Cheers.